Why does God tell Abraham to circumcise kids on the eighth day? You know, it is interesting, and I there probably is a biblical reason that if you dug around long enough, you could figure out, oh, that's really significant, why the eighth day? Mm-hmm. I know that it's the, the first day of a new week, you know, obviously, at the end of seven, the first day, it's a brand new beginning. But also beyond that, there's a scientific justification, which is kind of fascinating. In the 1950s, there was somebody that was doing blood analysis on people, and what they found was that in the course of your life, the blood clotting agents in your bloodstream reach peak on the eighth day of life. So you have something in your body that's a byproduct of vitamin K called prothrombin and vitamin K itself, both of which help with blood clotting. You start here, you drop in the first couple days after birth, you peak at the eighth day, and then you revert back to normal levels for the rest of your life. And so it just so happens in the providence of God that he says, I want you to do this bloody rite where you're going to cut the foreskin off of your child's penis, and there's going to be blood. You're welcome for that. On the eighth day, when you have the highest concentration of blood clotting agent, it's almost like God knew what he was doing.